What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Madden 22 video. It's your boy Pog and today I'm gonna be doing a tip Thursday for you guys. If you're watching the MCS, watching a lot of competitive Madden as of late, you know there's this glitch bomb going on in the Madden community and today I'll be showing you guys how to run it and how to, you know, put this into your game plan. So guys, if you saw that clip, you know there's a crazy bomb in the game. It bombs every coverage. That's why it's a tip Thursday for you guys today. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to run it. And honestly, this may backfire on me because I know a lot of you guys are gonna be playing me in weekend league and whatnot, butt head to head and whatnot, and I'm afraid to get bombed. But you know, I'm here for you guys. This is the best source for, you know, content, competitive, um, gameplays, anything you could think of. I'm gonna go crazy with the content for you guys. And here is no other. So um, I am currently in the play. This play is called Flood. What you basically need on this play is any type of deep post route. So you see right here, Flood in the bottom right corner. Um, obviously you want some speed there. I have D-Hop, he's not really the fastest, but he's gonna be able to get the job done. And it works versus any coverage. Man, deep halves, cover two, cover three, cover four, match. And I'll be showing you guys that today. So, you know, here we are starting off with a simple cover four beater. Uh, you see the cover four coverage right there. We're baseline press. So all you're going to want to do is put a slant on this inside guy. Um, and from there, you could really freestyle. I like to put like a zig route to kind of create a high low. So, guys, my player was bugging out. But for the most part, you could really freestyle a lot of route comms with this. Um, what you need, though, is this middle receiver to be on a slant. And I do believe this works on both sides of the hash short side long side i'm obviously on the short side right here this is a nice little combo i like uh, you have this little zig route to kind of make a high low on the right and you know you could do double drags um double slants you could do a lot of things i'd like to block my running back too because you are going to need a lot of time but due to the fact that quarterbacks in this game have crazy throw power and you know are able to launch the ball with even low ratings such as 90 throw power uh this play right here is really going to be a meta see right here we're gonna just wait and boom, it's gonna get wide open. Um, that was just a nice little cover four beater. And you know, that could beat cover four, sure. Um, but this is really why it's super glitchy. It beats deep halves, backed up thirds, it beats anything. And I'll show you guys that right now. So right here is a little bit of cover two. Um, this is kind of gonna beat it to the inside. And like I said, you can run it to either side, I do believe. But um, you know, if you want the most space and most time, you wanna roll out and have more space, suggest you run it to this side. See right here, my delay fade actually sent, but it's not gonna matter. Easy deep half bombs. And I had AJ Green right there who is not really someone that fast and it still works. So like I said, man, you want this slant from the inside guy. And what I do believe happens is this slant somewhat holds down the half or the deep zone right here just for a second and boom, you're able to hit him over the top. And um, we saw Henry Keynes do this as well out of the bunch tight end formation. You really just pretty much need anything with a deep post like this and uh, something to come underneath it as such as like a slant or you know there may be another better route for that but for the most part i do believe the slant is the money maker so you know right here what you're wondering uh i do believe backed up defense does play it so we're gonna see right here i do believe this will bag it so we're backed up and i do believe this is the remedy to the defense um but you know if we are gonna burn it too that'd be crazy as you see right there even backed off doesn't beat it um that's the cover two bomb i'll show you some better coverages for it but you know that's insane i had the defense backed up and this deep half just keeps on creeping down into the box um due to a slant you see right there he kind of takes a step to the slant leaving this deep post to be wide open so you may be wondering what if you know you deep half this guy put this guy in a third um would that play it you know i'm in quarters cover four right here and yeah man this is still going to be able to bomb the defense once more, get your protection, roll out. Here's the play art for you guys. And we're still gonna be able to bomb this coverage. See right here, you really just need this delay fade to hold up, perfect blocking. And just look at that, man. It's getting behind the deep halves, getting behind the quarters. And it's just pretty crazy to think about. Um, this play right here is definitely game breaking. And it's something I really don't wanna play, but you know, this is the hottest tips, the best advice, uh, the best news. For everything you see, you know, I show you guys the best content and this play right here is something you guys want to implement. Like I said, I'm in the Panthers playbook as you see, offset, then I audible over to flood, which is insane. Um, I do know you could do this out of any type of deep post, 
So, you know, uh, I believe you could do it out of trips, bunch tight end. It's not really the play that matters, it's the concept. Lastly, guys, I'm gonna show you like, okay, what if they deep half this guy right here? And it's really not gonna matter, man. Once more, you're gonna slant that inside slot receiver, delay fade to get that better blocking. Zig route, kind of high low. If some things go bad, if they blitz you, you know, you have a route cam right here, um, as in like route tech, it's gonna be able to get open. And we're just gonna get that delay fade to, well, unfortunately he didn't block. You're gonna get him to block. So guys, here's the play art, deep half right there, uh, just to show you guys that it does really work versus everything. Same concept, slant, zig route, uh, delay fade. You're gonna get that blocking. We're gonna motion out and the bomb is wide open. Um, that was a kind of tougher throw. I really haven't been completing it, man. But like I said, I, I barely just started running this now. I just seen a lot of the guys in the MCS run it and they're really running it well. Once more, last time for you guys, I'm gonna deep half that left side guy. And it doesn't show that he's in a deep half, but trust me, he is in a deep half. The play arts are glitching kind of right now. There you go, you see it right there. And boom, we are gonna try to hit this bomb one last time for you guys. And as you, as you see right there, it's open. And we just can't get a good throw, unfortunately. Uh, that's Kyler Murray for you guys. But yeah, man, this one is not as good as the sum out of, out of you know, bunch tight end and other forms, but it is really, really good and you could get the job done. I don't believe smart routing does anything to it. Um, if anything, you just want to keep the route stock, and that's that, man. The best, probably the best bomb in this game, it beats deep halves, beats man coverage, match coverage, cover threes, cover fours, cover twos. It beats any type of coverage you could think of. The only two things are you need a lot of time in the pocket, and you just need that slant coming across the middle to, to pull down some of the zones. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. I have a lot of you guys lurking not subscribe yet. That's the best way I'm going to grow and the best way I'm going to keep putting out these fire ass tips for you guys. But till next time, guys, take it easy. And I'll catch you in the next video.